All right, so this is the Capital Improvement Planning Committee for um, September 26, 2019, and it's 515. And I'm, I'm calling the meeting to order, not that I've been elected chair or anything like that, but I, I guess I'm- As vice chair. Defer. I'm vice Defer. chair or co-chair. Thank you for- until, until that all gets unraveled or raveled. Thank you for stepping forward. <laughs> Um, so today, um, well, I, I don't know what we do as far as electing officers since there's only four of us. I guess we... I think we can table reorganization to the next meeting. Okay. That seems reasonable. Okay, so um, we're here to discuss the um, uh, proposed uh, purchase or repurchase of uh, a portion of the Oxford property which is Article 9 um, on the warrant for the special town meeting on Monday. And um, so the, the, so the um, proposal of the select board is to uh, purchase or repurchase the parcel that was purchased a few years ago by New England Natural Bakers uh, for $357,280. And um, so, does anyone have questions about this purchase? I just want to explain that this is our, we have right of first refusal. Um, we, the select board wanted to control the property and um, New England Natural Bakers uh, reorganized, I guess, and it's the best way to say it. And they now are um, going to stay in Greenfield. So we would like to purchase this back so we could have the opportunity to sell it to uh, another corporation like the Dumont Corporation that had just finished building a wonderful property there. But, but New England, so New England Natural Bakers actually owns it today? And yes, they've been paying taxes on it. Okay. But they have been going back and forth. They have had multiple um, ideas of what they, what they were gonna go forward mm -hmm. with. They've changed their uh, management, I think, twice. And so the current management is brand new and they finally made a decision what they were gonna do. And what did they acquire the property for? The same amount. Same amount? Yeah. And what did we pay in closing costs the first time around? I don't think we paid anything. I think they paid. You think they paid all closing costs? I'm pretty sure. Well, do you, do you, yes. Um, I imagine we'll do it this time, though. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, there right. is a little amount in there that council had recommended we put in. So the I have the purchase price, okay. um, but I've added, I think, 1500 is what we... Right. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So. Calculated. That's what I was trying to figure. So, so what would the alternative to this be? They can sell it. They can sell it. So it, so it would stay on the tax rolls, and they would sell but, it to a Yes, but buyer. then we would lose control of it. But if they, they could have sold it at any time, even if they moved in there. Right? It's only because they're reorganizing that we're having the opportunity to buy we had, it. We had in the deed, there was right of first refusal. Okay. Right. At any time, it would have done that case. But the the right other thing is, we short. just, the finance committee, I don't, or at the town meeting, we voted to pay off the loan for that. The original for, loan, yes. Yeah, to pay it off. And now, I know. And now we're looking at financing it again. But it's a small amount for a key piece of land in the center of our town. I guess my question is, Why, why do we want to control this piece of land what, versus, I mean, there's a lot of pieces of land that we could, that we could purchase it's, and control. It's, um, um, well, the reason why we bought it initially was there was a proposal for 164 um, low-income housing units. Mm -hmm. And if you multiplied one kid per unit, it pays for itself in two and a half years and just the educational costs alone. So whether you agree or not agree that controlling it is important, it's just a financial decision for the town. It's better for us to control the property and try to sell it. Okay. 
Why does the article say recommended by the Finance Committee? I don't believe Finance Committee's met. Yes, they this. have. They've met and reviewed the warrant. They did um, a week ago, um, Thursday, uh, a week ago today. And they reviewed the articles, um, not the motions, but the articles, and they only recommended the three that were identified in the, in the warrant so far, and they intended to meet tonight to take up the remaining Okay, articles. that's right, too. I couldn't make it. Okay. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, we might, using the same logic, we would, the town would pursue buying any piece of land that somebody might build low-income housing on or do something that, that maybe well you can't you can't preclude low-income housing if someone comes in and wants to file a compre comprehensive permit. There's not much you can do about well, right. it. Right, it doesn't I, matter what piece of land. My understanding is. is is that we have a deficit of low-income housing. And we a, do. A potential we do. developer could come in and build wherever they want, regardless of the zoning that's, law. That's, that's absolutely correct. true. Absolutely correct. So, uh, so then you know there's multiple properties on Route Five. Um, that we could potentially purchase to, to control it, to somehow control it? And that's always I mean, a possibility, it, Jack. Where does it, where does it end? I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of playing the devil's advocate because. Right. Well, to me, the primary know. difference between any, any other privately owned land and this piece of property is that the town had acquired the whole contiguous mm -hmm. piece in the hopes of either putting together mixed use or, or whatever possible uses back there. And now we've ended up with largely industrial uses and I think it makes sense to try and retain at least that element in the towns, you know, bring it back in since the town had already owned it. If it was just a <clears throat> private piece of land that was under pressure to be developed, we can't, as I said, we can't, even if the town owns it, I think. I'm, um, I'm sorry. If somebody buys it, they can they can develop it under a comprehensive permit. But it just it does provide us an element of control over a piece of uh, the, that we've been trying to. Of make. that original chunk of land that's back there, how much is unsold? This is it. This is the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the idea is to generate good jobs, you know, jobs that pay. Um, New England Natural Bakers was an employee-owned company, and they had skilled jobs, as you know, relatively skilled jobs. Um, Dumont Corporation that just, um, you know, we had the open house on Monday there. Um, they're, you know, really well-paying jobs plus good ta tax base, and that's the idea, is to bring jobs to Deerfield, and it has a multiplier effect on our, on our downtown economy as well as, you know, obviously it helps our tax base. But wouldn't a Dumont have bought it from whoever owned it? Wouldn't it have been attractive to them if, if Jack Davy owned it? Why was it a why was it an advantage to them that, that the town of Deerfield? Well, I think the reason why Dumont uh, found it attractive, my understanding. I mean, you could talk to Eric him, himself, but uh, my understanding was it was easy to develop, it was just ready to go. There's water and sewer, and it's an expedited permitting district, which the selectmen control. So um, within six months, um, he was, went from purchase to construction and um, moving in. But would it have been different if a, if a private party owned it? Would it? Yes. It would have to go through the per, uh, planning board as, um, for site plan, you know, site review. But not now, though. Now it is an expedited permitting. Now that's the we can, zone. Because it's in our zone, yes. That it's we would now. control it. So it's, but it, it's you were zoned. asking if, if, if it was a privately held. If it was privately held, then it, you know, they, it wouldn't then, be the same. So, so in other words, if the town owns it, the, you're saying that the, the permitting process can be shortcutted. It's expedited. It's, a, it's an economic incentive, yes. Just like you have the tax and increment financing um, incentive, you, this is the permitting incentive. It was developed under, I'm not really sure if it, which, if it was Deval Patrick or Mitt Romney, but it was, it was 
uh, as an incentive for development, to encourage development. Is, you know, from my perspective, it, it, this is a piece of property we owned. Um, we've got it in, it's in a zone, an area that we targeted as a town or the select board targeted and the planning board agreed with it, and, you know, along the way. And I just think that it makes sense if we can bring it back in and it's not costing us anything but, what, $1,500 or so. It costs us 357000 Right, except taxes. that's just the 357000 that we received. Excellent. Well, and we're taking it off the tax rolls. Yeah, it's yeah. going to cost and us taking it off the six tax grand rolls. a year in taxes. Mm -hmm. So I don't look at it that way. I look that we... I, we I understand we, we can agree to look at it in different ways, John. I know. <laughs> I thought we were I'm just expressing my side. I thought my memory yeah. was we paid, the, we paid the loan. Everything is paid off. Yeah, it's yes. paid off. So we got to borrow the money again. Right. It's a short-term <clears throat> borrow again, yes. Well, we don't know. Well. <laughs> what happens if we don't it was buy it back? Then they have to sell it? Yeah. Then they sell it, yes, to anybody. And they make the profit. Are they going to be able to sell it? For that price, yes. That's 35000 an acre, right, roughly? Well, approximately. It's, it's a pretty good. good deal. There isn't much in Deerfield that's, that's that cheap. Mm -hmm. And this is water and sewer, ready to go. <clears throat> I admit to not knowing the value of acreage in the town. Did, has there been... Did, there been an, did you guys get well, an appraisal you when you did the? Well, how, how many acres? Is less than Ten acres. One hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty thousand for a housing lot. So a two-acre lot is worth like a hundred thousand. Well, an acre and a half lot, sixty thousand square feet, which is what's required in a residential agricultural. Any land that I see advertised in the town of Deerfield is usually around one hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So it is. Building, I think it is kind building of. Cheap. It is and cheap. Yeah. I mean, are we going to try and sell it for five hundred thousand? Well, we now sold we, we sold the Dumont property. What, it was a, was it a hundred thousand dollars an acre? It was their their lot went for two hundred. I think we sold it for two hundred thousand, right? Yeah, we sold it for two hundred thousand. Yeah, and it was just around two acres and some odd, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. I would anticipate we could get quite a lot of money for this. We at least cover this because this was a really good price. <clears throat> On the other hand, it's not really it's not a house. They're not nobody's going to build houses there. Well, thank you. If I was a developer and someone offered me ten acres almost or not over nine acres for three hundred fifty thousand dollars, you better believe that I would try very hard to buy it. Can I don't know, but wouldn't the, their calculation be that who would want to buy a house with the view from the front yard was the highway garage? Well, highway garage and the Dumont Corporation. They're both really attractive. I don't know. <laughs> looking looking out my the living room. Highway garage is pretty nice, but I don't know. I don't know looking out so my I living room window. Think, we'll think of the uh, highway garage being there. <laughs> No, you get trucks going in and out all day long. So I don't know. I mean, you have traffic on Sugarloaf. You have traffic all over town. I don't, I don't think I would want to buy a house across from the highway garage. But I don't know. People buy houses. I don't, I don't know. Condos are down the street are selling for three hundred fifty dollars, a three hundred fifty thousand, or through over three hundred a piece. So I I feel that it is a good purchase. And it's fine if I make the motion that we recommend this to town meeting. Um, I'll second the motion. Can we have further discussion? Yeah, well, sure. Certainly. Say, any, uh, any, well, any you know, we can, if we vote, we can leave it up to the people in the town by voting yes. Well, ultimately, and that's going to be at the town meeting, you know. Ultimately, we do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a you town know, meeting. So has let, to them, let them decide. This mm -hmm. town meeting has yeah. to decide. Right. Yeah. So. And it's a two-thirds vote that's required. Yes. According to. Yeah. For borrowing. 
So I guess my feeling is, personally, I'm against it. Anyways, go ahead. My feeling is, personally, I'm against it, but I think it would be good to put in front of the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go anyway, though. Let them decide. Regardless of what we say, it's... That's true, too. It's going to be... It's well, on that's the true, warrant. too, it's yeah. So... So, for the... Okay. So, I don't know. Any Let's, other discussion? Okay, so, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Um, boy. I'm for it, so the taxpayers can... I'm, I'm personally, I'm against it, but I think the taxpayers ought to be able to vote it. Thank you, John. So, so I'll vote yes. Aye. Huh? You're voting aye. I'm voting yes. Okay, did you get it? That everybody on TV, I'm against it. So but, but that's so to recommend. <laughs> you're rec so you're recommending so it. So we're the motion, the motion carries. carries we're to recommending recommend. the purchase of. I guess can we change the wording? I'm recommending that it goes in the warrant. It's already on the warrant. It's already on the warrant. Well, yeah, but I vote. Way. I'm yeah, talking the about the CIPC the vote. The motion is to recommend that we. That Support. We purchase, right. That the town that's what the recommendation the is. So that's the motion. That's the motion. Then I'm against it. That's okay. It's fine. It's still just. It's still going to the town meeting. The town meeting mm -hmm. will decide. So the. So, so the, the motion CIPC does not does not, does not carry. Not carry. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Fail. Two to two. So the uh, CIPC does not does not recommend. Will not will go down as not recommend. Right. That's right. Because a fail. I mean, a tie is a fail. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I mean, instead well, of land, okay. if, if we're doing it for an investment. Adjourn, I get okay. No, no, okay. We, all right. Okay. I'm so sorry. Never mind. So, uh, Never second. Mind. Never so mind. Ken's made a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye.